Yeah, well, I mean, being a foreigner myself, I, I am always very sensitive to that. I think one of the big differences for me is that I made Yangon my home. I mean, I've, I live here and this is where I call home and my family is here and my friends are here. So I am deeply entrenched in the, in the world without being from Myanmar, without being fluent in Burmese, without uh, so many elements. And, and hopefully not trying to be from Myanmar, but trying to be a friend and a supporter. I think international curators especially in the regional context, Myanmar artists become a kind of uh, token of we need one artist from each country, so let's drop in you know, this Myanmar artist. But it's also a lack of time spent here. So when scholarship is done on Myanmar, maybe there's a few interviews, maybe there's three days spent in Yangon, not even in the rest of Myanmar. And then a, a sort of conclusion is drawn in a curatorial essay about where Myanmar is and where it's going. Um, and it goes for academic scholarship as well as, as well as curatorial. I think that the international gaze can be a positive impact, but it's really up to the artists here to to engage with what they feel is beneficial and reject what they feel is detrimental or not interesting for them. Um, the most important thing is that the artists need to have independence from, um, from anyone they feel is misjudging them. Um, however, on the other hand, I mean, it gets, it gets very murky, right? On the other hand, what a good opportunity to exhibit abroad. Um, there's far more money for artists if you, if you leave Myanmar, um, more support and, and better training. So it's really, it really is up to the artists to see how they want to engage. And I think foreign curators must be very sensitive in a situation where you know, that you need to go into admitting that you know nothing, that you're here to learn, and that is, and, and that's, that is all. It's changed a lot in the last five years, and part of that has been the way that artists communicate with the audience. So being able to share your exhibitions, your artwork, your ideas, your thoughts online is an incredible, uh, powerful tool. And I think that's already changing the art scene. Where I, where I predict it's going, if I may be so bold to make a prediction, um, I think there's a lot more attention paid to Myanmar artists and giving them autonomy in their creative work. For so long, the international scene pigeonholed Myanmar as a kind of um, inherently political place, but expected certain things from artists from Myanmar. And I think that's finally changing. So I'm sure that in the future the artists will be able to express themselves more as individuals and less as Myanmar nationals, for example. So instead of, instead of constantly creating something that relates to their political environment or perhaps literal imagery of the country itself, where they're from. The artists can become much more conceptual in how they address their own feelings and uh, their own lives. And, and I think we'll find that artists will start creating in new and unique ways, ways to express themselves and, and become more like global citizens and less uh, as, you know, a sort of isolated um, incident.